This is the video for the main program of Polygon Scan. I've highlighted the main program in green. Starts out saying if task is equal to zero, go to AA. That's what would happen when the program very first starts. It has to initialize a game. After that it says the absolute value of game number should be put in game number and if the game number is equal to the was game number it goes to AC. Well when they differ though that means a new game is starting so the first thing it does is sets the was game number to the game number task to one uses the stat action to set up the sequence of blue notes and then it calls subprogram 1 tab 0 which initializes the game and then it exits. But the next time it goes around game number will be equal to was game number so it will go to AC. Then it says use note 1 for the blue note box. Then the next two instructions we're going to skip because they have to do with the YouTube videos. But here's a list of the routines that are called to run the game. All of them are in subprogram 1. First it goes to tab 3. That will select the active index for the X and Y points. Then it goes to tab 1. Where it show the X, Y positions for each of the polygon starts. All the subprograms and main program all have a start. Then it goes to tab 2 where it enters the points in the polygon area. Then the tab 7 sets the character for the game number. Then in tab 4 where it marks the active index and outlines the polygon. Then tab 5 which is the routine to test for show polygon the bridges and fill the polygons and also does the deletes. And then finally it calls subprogram 1 tab 6 that selects the bridges and shows the bridge table. Then it changes the font to 422 which is bold 22 points, the color to a dark red 400, sets the XY value to 1125 and then puts the text of game number on the screen then it adds a little bit to X position and then it boxes the number on the screen that is the game number then it exits. Well at this time I like to go and execute the game and explain somewhat about how it works. First of all here is a list of points for the polygons and you can fill this all up with 200 different points you make. Game zero allows you to start your own polygon and make whatever you want. But I'm on game one that places an A in the box here. And then it's asking you to outline the A. And that's what I've already done. First, I w went to this position and you can see the circle around it. Then I went to next position, you see the circle move, the next, the next, I'm outlining the A. This one you're told to outline the A. So I'm outlining the A and notice I'm doing it in a clockwise method. And when I get to this point here, it finishes it by going back to the beginning. It will always finish it. Then I went to start one. In the first position. Now, oh, see, now I'm doing the inside. This is a sub polygon, and all the sub polygons, one, and you can go up to eight of them, will go in counterclockwise direction. Watch, I go to the next point. Look, it's going this direction. The next point, it went there. Now, if there were other polygons that had to be made, we have two, three, four, all the way to eight. But all of them must be inside the main polygon's area, just like this one was. Now, since we've done our out... Oh, now wait, I didn't do the bridge. That's very important. All the sub-polygons, like this one that we made cut out in the A here, 
they need a bridge from some point on the main outline from start zero. Well, I have to know that this first position 129, which I'll click again, is up here. And that's very close to the first position of that polygon inside. So I'm going to come over here with, see, I made it active and I'm going to come over here and I click here and that makes it the bridge. So now it knows when it does this polygon here, it's going to bridge from this point to that point and then go around there counterclockwise. Well, let's click on show the polygon and there it is. I did it correctly. I outlined the A. Well, this is the end of the video for the main program of Polygon Scan.